Hello and welcome everybody. Today we're playing a game called PC Building Simulator, which has literally come out today. That's how on the money, that's how cutting edge we are. We're here playing brand new. Let's do some bufferings, some triples. All right, let's play the tutorial. Let's see. Hi and welcome to PC Building Simulator. To get started with this tutorial, press I after you close this window to open your inventory. All the parts you own are shown in the inventory, along with the quantity you have. Close the tutorial. Oh, close the inventory after you're done to continue with the tutorial. You can press T to toggle this window. You can press Q to turn the tutorial off. Alright, and how do we close this window? T. Great, and we've got $2,000. Oh, we can walk around. Look at that. I know, I'm ignoring the instructions. I thought I'd just give you a little... Uh, I'm going to be the true test of this game. Because I have built many a computer in my time. And not much will get by me if they're missing steps. I mean, it's not a very difficult thing to do, building your own computer. But for many people, it's like, huh? So, let's see, what have we got? We've got a dummy CPU, power supply disk drive, some fans, got a hard drive, I think that must be a motherboard, a graphics card, some RAM, different graphics card, good, always could do with two of those, yep, we don't have a uh, CPU, just a dummy CPU, oh right, you can organise them into categories, good, good to know, good, Good, all right, uh, so where are we gonna start? Let's get the motherboard out. To get started building your computer, navigate to the miscellaneous category on the right, selecting standoffs. St wasn't it on the left of the categories? Anyway, selecting standoffs. Standoffs are spaces installed between the motherboard and the tray behind it, so a short circuit is not created. They are also the place the motherboard screws are installed in. Thank you. Alright, well I guess we'll get those standoffs then. These are really annoying to do. If you've ever built your own computer, you'll know this pain. Uh, getting the motherboard in is not a one-person job. It's a two-person job, for sure. Unless you lay it down... You can do the whole thing as one person, but it's much easier with two people. To install the standoffs, hover your mouse over the highlighted slots and then press the left mouse button. These need to be installed in different holes depending on the motherboard you are planning to use in your build. The motherboard we will use has ATX form factor and these are the locations that align with the screw holes. Awesome! Let's let's stick some screws in. Bam! Bam! Pachow! Stick it in. And bam! 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 Uh, faster. Bam! And bam! Before we install the motherboard, we need to install the power supply unit. This is the power source. Okay, sweet, thanks. Can we go to the shop? Can we get a better power supply? No. Okay, fair enough. That's just the one that we have. What's that? Press E to change project. Well, we'll, we'll investigate that later. Install the power supply. You know, it's, it's pretty easy this way. Uh, do we have to put the screws in the power supply? No, okay, that's just just for normal stuff. Just for those ones on the motherboard. Awesome! At this point in real life, you would install the screws that hold the motherboard. Okay, so they're held together by magic. Next, we're going to install the CPU. Blah, 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 blah. CPU does your processing and your important stuff. Without it, you couldn't really do anything. Okay, we're going to open the slot open the slot. This is very easy. And uh, let's get that dummy CPU out. Now install it. Yep, we already got it out. What, what CPU is that? Core. It's a core. It's got a core there. Intel Core. Can I zoom in? I'm just going to move my face closer. It's an i7. It's an i7 everyone. Let's close that panel there. Now we need to apply thermal paste. Should we put the memory in? Okay. Wow, they're really breaking this down. Thermal paste is a type of paste made from metal powder 
usually zinc oxide, sometimes aluminium oxide, aluminium nitride, or even silver, that fills the very fine gaps between the cooler and the respective parts for better thermal conductivity. Wow, that's really interesting. I can't believe how much detail they've gone into for this. All right, let's chuck in some thermal paste. You have to be, this is, well, I don't know. I've never had much problem with it, but people say that the thermal paste is very tricky normally, but I just, you know, just spray it on. Don't use too much, just a little dollop. Can't really go wrong. The, the worst part about thermal paste is if it doesn't come with the CPU, because then you have to pay for it, and it's quite expensive, at least in New Zealand. Now we will install the CPU cooler. To do this, open your inventory. Blah, 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 blah. Right, thank you. Intel stock cooler. No water cooling for this machine? All good. Okay, graphics card. Okay, it's saying way, way too much information there. The graphics card does great stuff. Let's put two of them in. <clears throat> Oh, yes. We've got Sly graphics cards there. I think they were Intel ones, so that's pretty good. Uh, random access memory. Great. Chuck those in. You want to put them in... Did I select them? Oh, we have to pull these pins back? I love doing this. This is so satisfying to do normally on the computer. Now, were those the primary slots? Oh, we've actually got four. All good. Sweet. Push them in harder. What's going on here? Boop. Boop. What's happened to that one? Why does it go in further than the other ones? Are you some kind of conspiracy ram stick? Alright, moving on. Uh, let's start from the start. Okay. Whoa! I've broken the game! I've broken the game! They're all open now. I need to close them. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, doop, doop, doop. Okay, perfect. Now we can put in the Seagate Barracuda. Do we have any other options? No, just four of those. Aha. Uh -huh. Lastly, we, we will install a fan on the back of the PC. Great, let's just put the rest of those disk drives in. Now, you can never have too many of those, is something I know. Chuck a simple fan on. Cabling, woo! Cabling mode, now that's very cool. Click every highlighted spot to install a cable. Cabling. What, we want the 20 pin there. The last part of this, okay, I want this menu to go away. Uh, and, and that one. Oh no, I've broken it again. Sorry, I think that's an 8-pin. That one was a 6-pin. I can't see anymore, though. It's difficult because they highlight green, so you can't really see. Pretty sure that was an 8-pin. Oh, no pin. Uh, oh, dear. Okay. There's so many T's to toggle. Oh, dear. Well, we're just chucking our... Uh, this must be a six pin then. Okay, it's an eight pin. Is it the power? Molex. To an EPS 12 volt. All right. Fair enough. The last part, blah, blah, blah. Requires, provides the additional power the CPU requires to work. Okay, have we done these wrong? Do we have to do this one first? Do we need to get rid of that? I'm a bit confused. Oh, it appears we've done... Okay, they're, they're all 8 pins by the looks. Except that one, which is a 6 pin. Perfect, we're done here. Are we done? They're still glowing green, like I need to do something. Yes. Oh, well, we could turn the computer around. Here we are. Whoa, I'm in the desk. This is uncomfortable. Let's just turn the computer instead. It's difficult because you can't push. Can you push? It? It's okay. Actually, you can stand over here and do it. Perfect. Now we can have some satters. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, it, it's a bit overkill on the information. If I'm totally honest, especially the way that every time, yeah. <laughs> 
you do a SATA cable, it's like, yes, this is a SATA cable. Great. Perfect. Resolved. The computer is built. Right, game. Uh, turn it on. Press the power. Wait, where's our disk drive? We need a disk drive. We'll, we'll put in one of those. Wait, can we put in some drive covers? Mount. Drive cover. No? Shall we put them in here? Oh, perfect. That's nice. And we'll put on a uh, disk drive. We probably don't need three disk drives, if I'm totally honest. Uh, can it not go in there now? Alright, we'll just put in a drive cover. We didn't need a disk drive. No one needs a disk drive. They're garbage. Well, they're very useful. We'll chuck on the side panel. And, uh, we'll chuck on this back panel here. Chuck in some fans. Okay, we put in a fan there. And now we can put in one more fan here. Can we? Can we go inside the computer? What about on top? We can't go on top of the computer. I think we've, we're have we done here. Um, the game is broken. And uh, the highlighted slots won't go away even though I'm not in the cabling mode. And definitely, I've definitely broken the game. I can confirm we've got $2,000 left despite building our computer. And we don't have a monitor, so we can't turn it on. But we'll assume that it worked. Uh, um, yeah, what a fantastic game. Quite a lot of potential here. Especially, I think this is really good. Genuinely, it did actually have a huge amount of detail. For someone who'd never built their own computer before, or didn't know how to do it, this would literally give you the knowledge that you needed. The only thing it didn't really cover, in my opinion was probably the necessity not to like static electricity the computer you know you want to kind of keep one hand on a metal surface at all times and that will ground you so like use the case for example and 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 then the trickiness of some of the bits like getting the screws in and dropping screws throughout the case and you know you don't want to be too if you if you are a nervous person, building a computer is probably not going to be for you. You have to be a bit ballsy. You have to be like, oh well, that screw's fallen into the graphics card. Just shake the graphics card till it falls out. She'll be right, mate. And that's the approach that you really need to take if you want to build your own computer. It's worked many a time for me, and only most of the computers are broken. <laughs> Uh, I think that's about it for today. I hope the game eventually lets me out and starts working again. We'll just turn off the lights. Bye!